It's not every day that you get some brand new paint colors at your disposal. And that's exactly what happened within Pharaoh and Ball's eclectic color catalog. And not only did they announce 12 brand new paint colors, but also three new wallpaper designs, all coming from the brain of Christopher John Rogers, who is this up and coming designer, mainly known in the fashion industry, but his designs are full of fun, lively colors, unorthodox shapes, and silhouettes. So you can imagine that the colors that he's bringing to Pharaoh and Ball's lineup all contain that same whimsy and just exuberance. Now, a lot of these colors are following a bit of a theme, a bit of a trend that I wanted to point out later on in the video, but we'll get to it in a second. So I guess the first couple colors I wanna look at are deemed as the neutrals of the palette, which is surprising, because when you see this guy's catalog of fashion, <laughs> There's not a lot of neutrals, it's a lot of fun. But it's good to have these desaturated, more muted colors to sort of balance the more saturated ones we'll see in a second. The first one being Ole, which essentially is the off-white of the bunch. It has just a touch of warmth, a little bit of a grayed out quality to it, perfectly neutral. And then the mid-tone option is Roasted Macadamia, so a little bit more of that warmth, a bit of a mid-tone kind of grayed out brown feel to it as well. Kind of earthy, organic feeling. And then Licorice is the darkest of the three neutrals. This essentially is an off-black. It functions as black in this palette, so it is very dynamic, just sort of contrasty and exciting to me. I like when different off-blacks are introduced, especially within Pharaoh and Ball's catalog, because they are so saturated and deep. And then you have these sort of punchy, vibrant colors in Hog Plum, Raw Tomatillo, Shallot, and Romesco. You almost have a lightened golden chartreuse in Hog Plum. Then you have this pure, beautiful, saturated organic green in Raw Tomatillo, Shallot, which is a really fun pink, and then Romesco for a tomato red, which is interesting. So a lot of different directions that this palette is taking you. And then there's Cardamom, which is an interesting one. It is a flavor that I really enjoy um, in my foods and my fragrances as well. And what's great about this one is it presents an alternative to licorice because it has this sort of deep bronze quality to it, maybe a touch of green. And what's interesting is I recently did a video color consultation with someone inquiring about cardamom saying, I really wanted a dark green, so should I go with this? And I told them, well, actually, this one seems more like a dark brown with just a touch of a green undertone. So it can be a bit misleading, especially in person. So just be mindful of that. But what I really wanna to get to are these last four colors in Hi. sardine, Hi. pea flower tea, blue Hi. maize, and lobster, four different blues. And this is continuing the trend that we are seeing in the color and design world. Blue is coming back in a variety of different ways, whether it's more of an airy sky blue or a more turquoise leaning one, or even a dark purple violet navy. So it's interesting to see this coming from someone in fashion, because I feel like fashion can move a bit faster than interior design, but maybe that's just me. Not that I'm a huge fashionista myself. I do appreciate a nice garb from time to time. But what do you think about these paint colors? Which one are your favorites? And which ones would you actually use in your home? Let me know. Have I captured your attention? Check out more videos right over here.